Now, there is a toy that I'm pretty sure every single person watching this program right now will, at some point in their life, have played with. It's really simple, but at the same time, incredibly complex. I am, of course, talking about Lego. Lego is, without doubt, one of the most successful toys ever invented. Simple, tough little blocks of plastic that click together and allow almost anyone to build almost anything. The name Lego comes from the Danish phrase leggot, which means play well, which is obviously what we're doing. But these days, Lego isn't just a pile of plastic bricks. Oh, no! Lego is one toy that's completely embraced the computer age. Docking. Yep. Oh, sorry. Last year, when I visited the Robotic Olympics in South Korea, I was greeted by the quite astonishing sight of hundreds of children, some as young as six or seven, building robots in just an hour or two. And almost all of them were building their creations out of Lego, or more accurately, Techno-Lego, probably the most advanced kit of parts for home-built robots available today. And, believe it or not, they're bringing out an even more advanced robotic Lego. And knowing my penchant for anything robotic, Lego invited me over to their HQ in Denmark to check out the new robotic range and have a sniff around the factory. <laughs> Lego uses 24,000 tonnes of plastic every year. It gets transformed into 2,000 different types of bricks in 55 different colours. At the heart of the process are the special moulds, which work 24 hours a day, churning out a few pieces at a time. Just one of them would set you back about 500,000 Danish krona, or 50,000 pounds. They're very precious. The secret recipe for Lego, if you like. And so it will come as no surprise that they're kept in a bunker that can withstand a direct hit from an airliner. Lego is loved and protected here. It's vital to the Danes. Everything in Denmark is made from Lego. So, to keep up with demand, their factories produce, get this, 15 billion new pieces of Lego every year. That's an awful lot of miniature houses. It's all jolly impressive, and we're not the only ones to think so. Lego was named the toy of the 21st century. And since they added little tubes to make the bricks stable, they haven't changed the design one iota. But what's fascinating is that a brick that was made almost 50 years ago still fits a brick that was made two weeks ago. But the main things I want to get my hands on are these. They're called LEGO Mindstorms NXT, and each one is a working robot. Their brains are all packed neatly into this intelligent brick called the NXT. Inside, there's 256K of flash memory, a Bluetooth connection, and on the side, lots of USB ports. This is the vital component that can make your Lego bricks come to life. I have in front of me the Mindstorms NXT robotic toolkit, and apparently, I should be able to open this box and build myself a working tribot in under 30 minutes. Well, let's put that theory to the test. Uh... There it is, the NXT, the brains of my tribot. That, I think, with little thingy there. These robots cost £180 each, and for that you get the Lego, the motors, and the software to program it. Yes, it works! Fantastic! Look at him! Oh, what's the time? Oh, one minute! One minute, and I just made it. Absolutely brilliant. Well done, little robot. OK, so bearing in mind that I've just made this little robot, I've just gone into the Bluetooth settings, and by a process of deduction, without even looking at any manuals, I'm now controlling it with a mobile phone. Let's bring it around to a stop. Even making it go forward, speed up and stop it is completely intuitive and needs no instructions. It's all being done off this mobile phone handset via Bluetooth. Utterly incredible. Each one comes with four sensors, ultrasonic, touch, light, and sound. They plug into the NXT brick, and you can use them to control your robot. 
you just need to create some programming using LEGO's icon-based software. These programs can make your robots pick up drinks, walk, talk, fight, and even dance to the sound of your voice. As you speak, sing, do a beat, whatever, this dude takes the input of your voice through this microphone. He's still doing it as I'm talking to you now. It goes up into the microprocessor. It's then transmitted down to the servos, the motors that make him move as movement. The louder I am, the more movement he does, the quieter I am, the slower his movements. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs>